Good morning, everyone. This is Jalissa from Strive Wellness. Today we'll be doing strength in the chair. Go ahead and find a comfortable space within your home. Grab a chair. I have a blanket underneath me and I have a pillow behind me for extra support, extra cushion, and I have weights. You'll want to have maybe three pound weights, somewhere around there, maybe less if you're a beginner, if you're coming back from an injury. You could do no weights if you want to. And then you could go as heavy as you want if you feel that you're ready for it, as long as there's no pain, no strain. Find a comfortable seat, and you're more than welcome to play some background music. I'm not adding any music because of YouTube rules, however that works. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started with our march. Marching in place in your chair, breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Go another three, two, last count. Get ready to settle through your feet, our side jacks. Open and close. You can stick with one side at a time, or if it feels safe, if it feels comfortable, open both arms, both legs at the same time, your full jacks in the chair. Three, two, last one settle your feet we're doing our leg circles starting with one leg we lift up out and down switch up out and down stay here or press your palms forward and you can draw circles with your hands as you go out Feeling some work within your shoulders, opening through your back, opening through the chest. One more each side. And settle. Let's get into our kicks. A gentle kick forward, forward. Keep it nice and light or lift up high. Squeeze through the belly. If you want to add arms, opposite arm towards the leg. Reach, reach. Remember, you could be down low. One more each side. And settle. Now here, it depends on the height of your chair. It depends on the length of your legs. If possible, a little press back with your foot in between the legs of the chair, underneath the seat of the chair. You might not reach far. We want to warm up through our hamstrings, the back of the thighs. Press, press back. If you'd like, we can add upper body, push your palms forward. One more each leg. 
And so let's come back to our march. Maybe you feel more comfortable to lift your knees up higher, going maybe a little faster. Three, two, last count. Settle through your feet, step your feet out wide, and we're gonna take a little fold and reach. So we take a little fold and reach down the opposite leg. You do not have to reach too far. Pay close attention to your low back. Stay active through the belly as you reach. One more each side. And come through center, hands in front of the heart, twist. Naturally breathing here in through the nose, out through the mouth. Last count. And we come through center, slow it down, hands to the thighs, back stroke. If this is uncomfortable, soften, bend the elbows, and keep it light. One more. And we come through center. Walk your feet back in so we're hip distance apart. Right leg, we find full length. Heels down, toes up. And reach it over. Over. Two more. Come through center, feet hip distance apart, opposite leg, heel down, toes up, reach over. That was my hip. <laughs> Two more. And come through center, bring the feet in, hands to the thighs, just here. <laughs> Exhale, round through the spine. Inhale, roll all the way up. Two more times. And settle through your shoulders. Hold on to the sides of the chair. See if it feels safe to balance in your chair, hovering both feet and we give our toes a wiggle and roll through the ankles. Switch opposite direction. You could also rest your heels down into the floor. It's perfectly fine. Point and flex. Wiper side to side. Settle your feet down, wiggle through your fingers. Roll through the wrists. Switch. Point and flex. <laughs> Just like we did with our feet. We're going to do the same with our hands. And wiper side to side. Shake that off. We'll take a deep breath and reach up high. Exhale, melt your arms down low. Chin to the chest. Full head circle. All the way around. Switch directions. 
Bring your head center. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Shake it off, grab a sip of water, and we'll get ready to pick up our weights. scoop forward. We're starting with our bicep curls first. Palms face forward, reset your shoulders back <clears throat> and down, lifting through our heart, squeeze through the belly, exhale out through the mouth as you curl your weights up, inhale, release down with control. Two, last one, and rest your weights on the thighs. Get ready to lift one thigh up, inhale down with control, exhale opposite thigh, inhale down with control. Halfway there. Two each side. One more each side. And settle. Last one here with this series, we're combining the two. Weight in your right hand, opposite weight on your left thigh. Get ready to curl and lift at the same time. Get ready to switch. Curl and lift. One more. And release your weight down. Shake that out, check in with your body, sip of water. Next, triceps. Pick up your weights. Take a little hinge at the hips. Think about pulling your belly away from the thighs and we slide our elbows back. Weights somewhere around your waist, okay? Palms facing in towards each other. Exhale, extend your arms behind you. Inhale, center. Make sure there is zero strain within the shoulders. If you do feel strain, weights might be too heavy. You wanna go lighter, maybe release the weights completely or maybe we're attempting to lift up too high. So keep it down low as you, as you extend your arms behind you.
keep going. I just want to show side body. Keep going. Keep going with your tricep extensions. Not tricep extensions, tricep kickbacks. And come through center. Settle through the shoulders. Shake that off. Our deadlift for the back of our legs now. Take a hinge at the hips, squeeze through the belly in the back, and it's on the way up. We squeeze our thighs, squeeze your glutes as you come all the way up to rise. It's all about the effort that you put in here with your deadlift. Inhale down, keep a flat back. Exhale, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs at the top. Squeeze. And when I say squeeze, I mean squeeze even more than what you already are throughout the whole exercise. We don't want to let go of that brace through the thighs and through the bottom. Three more. Last one, hold your squeeze. Keep squeezing the thighs, keep squeezing the glutes. Take a look at your thighs, keep squeezing, and let go of the squeeze. And you should have noticed that the thighs got wider because we let go of the squeeze. Settle, shake that off, check in, make sure you feel safe. We're gonna go through that round. Again, we're not gonna combine the two, that would be really difficult to combine those two moves together. Pick up your weights, our tricep kickbacks. Take a little hinge, pull your elbows back, exhale, extend behind you. We won't go as long here. One more. Find length through the spine, length through your arms. Hinge at the hips, keep a flat back, keep squeezing through the belly. Exhale, squeeze thighs and glutes at the top. Keep squeezing even when you take your hinge. We squeeze even more as we lift. Was our last one. Release your weights, shake it off, remove a layer if you need to, sip of water. Okay, we'll pick up our weights. This next one might feel a little heavy on the shoulders. Grab lighter weights, maybe no weights at all. Okay, if it's too heavy up your waist, palms face in towards your body. We're going in for our arm raises. Exhale, reach your arms forward. Inhale down. It's been a while since I've done these. Exhale forward. Inhale down. At least two weeks. Last one. Palms face in towards your thighs, now out to the sides. Make sure we lift no higher than our shoulders. One more. Release the weights. Shake that out. Check in with your shoulders. One weight on your right thigh, our soccer kick. Find length through your leg, out to the corner. Exhale, your leg sweeps over and up. Be mindful of your knee. If you need to bend your knee a bit more, you can. It'll feel a little heavier on the thigh, but that's okay, we wanna always protect our knee.
one more. Pause. If you want an extra challenge here, add a light pulse, 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 pulse. Three, two, one. Ooh, and tap that out. Move the weight to the opposite thigh. <sighs> Extend your leg out, heel down, toes up. Exhale, sweep your leg over and up for your soccer kick. After each repetition, you can rest your heel all the way down on the floor for extra support. Unless you wanna feel extra work, you could hover the heel. Hold this last one and add a pulse if you want an extra challenge. Three, two, one. <laughs> Tap your foot down, <clears throat> bring your feet in. Let's pick up our weights, arm raises for the last time. Okay. Exhale, reach your arms forward. Inhale through center, rotate the weights, and open out to the side so we alternate here. Forward, and side. Last one. And release your weights down. Check in, check in. Shake it off. Sip of water. Next, we'll do core, no weights. Scoot your seat forward and you'll start to lean back, possibly without touching the back of the chair so you can feel extra work through the belly. Okay. Hold on to the sides of the chair. Option one here for our knee tucks. Exhale, one knee in towards the chest. <laughs> Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, opposite knee in towards the chest. Inhale, tap it down. Continue to alternate. You could take it up a notch. Bring both knees in towards the chest. Only if that feels safe. As soon as you feel strain or even pain in your low back, stop immediately. We don't want to force our body to do something that it's saying no to. Go back to your first option one knee at a time. Even it out on both sides or last one with both knees in and release. Reset through the seat. You could rest back in your chair. You could also round through the spine if that feels safe, if that feels comfortable. Make sure you continue to engage through the belly. We could do a bit of the two. This is a nice wide chair. <laughs> and we'll come all the way up. Our second round of core, our crisscross in the chair. Take a scoop forward once again, feet about hip distance apart, elbows out wide with your fingertips lightly towards the ears. Exhale, we twist, reach elbow towards opposite knee, inhale center, exhale, elbow towards opposite knee. This is your option one, staying up nice and tall. 
or you can choose to lean back without touching the chair, making it more challenging for the belly. Ooh. If possible, let's take it up a notch. Criss, cross, criss, cross. Last round. And release, scoot back and take rest. That was our last core move. Shake it off, sip of water. Next, we come up to stand for our balance pose. We did our warm up, strength, core, and now some balance. You can move your weights out of the way. Okay, we'll meet behind the chair. Okay, you wanna hold on to your chair, have some room so you can lift up your leg. Balance on your left foot, lift your right foot up, your right thigh, and hover. Your foot can be down low, maybe your knee is at the same height as your hip. If you feel safe to hover your hands, you can hover your hands away from the chair. Open your arms out wide. You can even reach your arms up high if you wanted to. And shake it off. We'll try that on the opposite side. So again, we're still behind our chair. Start by holding on to the back of the chair. Hover opposite foot, keep it down low, or lift your knee as high as your hip if you'd like. You can hover your hands just above the chair. Maybe you open your arms out wide. Maybe you even reach your arms up high. Shake it off. And you can get back in your chair and you can stretch it out. I do have a, a stretching video on my channel. You can take a peek at that after this video. I thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Please let me know if you have any questions, anything you'd like to share. If you're looking for a particular type of exercise, please let me know. Um, I hope to hear from you. Thank you so much for your time. This is Jolissa from Strive Wellness.